this afternoon, grade 8 students at Holy Rosary High School put their scientific skills to the test at the 2014 APEG A Science Olympics. Kyle Gallagher was there and has the story. There might not be a big torture dancing bears, but these teams are ready for a competition of Olympic proportions. It's really fun. I've never done this before, and it's I think it's going to be a fun day. Welcome to Science Olympics 2014. This afternoon, Holy Rosary and the Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists of Alberta held the Science Olympics. 160 kids were split up into 32 teams and took part in a series of challenges designed to test their scientific abilities. We just want to spark some imagination. We want them to think about science, that it's not just uh, learning about biology or chemistry, but it's uh, ev everywhere around them. The idea is to get kids to use the knowledge they learn in the classroom in a fun environment. They have to look at structures and design. They have to be able to think about the scientific method. So they have to hypothesize about what's going to work best. Well, we're putting a lot of tape right at the corners, and we're trying to shove the paper towel or the newspaper into the little socket as far as we can so it's not going to collapse. Reflections, because we learned the reflections of the angles and stuff, so we'll probably, that would probably help me out too. A PEGA holds similar events right across the province. Kashif Dada says there is a shortage of skilled engineers and the organization hopes to create some interest in the field. This is part of our outreach program where we generate interest in future students who can potentially choose engineering, engineering programs in universities and then go on to become engineers and contribute to Alberta's development. Teams were given points based on each task. The top three teams in each challenge as well as the top three teams overall each received medals. But the winning doesn't stop there. Students can also nominate their favorite science teacher. When the students award, nominate their teachers in each school, the, the school receives $2,000 as uh, a contribution to the science fund. Holy Rosary staff hope to make the Science Olympics a yearly event. Kyle Gallagher, New Cap News. It's going to be a chilly weekend in the border city, but there are still plenty of things to do if you plan on braving the cold. Heather Clegas has more in this week's edition of What's Happening. Oh, the places you'll go, like maybe this weekend, tomorrow in fact, a trip to the Vic Juba Theater to see some incredible Dr. Seuss characters take to the stage. Maybe you'll treat yourself to green eggs and ham before you head out and hear some stories like one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Whoever your favorite character is, cat in a hat or maybe it's Horton, some talented local boys and girls will be on stage performing for you. It's Seussical Junior, the musical. Coming up on Sunday at 2 o'clock, Clock, you've got a chance to take in a very special concert, not just some great local talent, but also a fundraiser. All the proceeds from this show are going to help out Typhoon Relief in the Philippines. It's the World Vision concert and it features a number of different performers, including Tanner Frizzell, Lord of Nations, some dance groups, so kind of a bit of a variety show. The great part, admission is by donation and it's all to help out a great cause. Diamond Rio and Buffy St. Marie, they have had their share of big hits. Plus, we're lucky enough to have hosted or looking forward to hosting them right here in the Border City. One guy we haven't hosted yet, maybe soon, but for now, you'll just have to settle for a copy of his new album. It's Eric Church, The Outsiders. If you want a copy of this number one album, it's really easy. All you have to do is email your name and daytime phone number to tvcontest at newcap.ca. We want to say thanks to John at Universal Music Canada for setting us up with the hit music. Ring those phones. You're going to be hearing that this weekend and make sure your phone is ready so you can make your donation to Tell a Miracle. And if you're watching on CITL TV, make sure you're watching Saturday over the lunch hour. Lloyd Minster's own Hillside Alliance will be performing then. Well, whatever you choose to do this weekend, I hope you have a great one. I'm Heather Kleges and that's what's happening. It's time now for our monthly feature with the SBCA, Humane Habits. This time, Jenny lets us know what to expect when you adopt a new puppy. Getting a puppy can be a very exciting but challenging experience. Here are some tips on what you can expect when you're bringing home a puppy. Your puppy may be a little sad or frightened the first day or two bringing him or her home. This is okay. They've just been taken away from the only life they've known, so your puppy may need a little time to adjust. 
To help, be very gentle and calm around him or her. Try not to raise your voice or punish them for making mistakes in these first few days. Puppies have been known to cry during the night. To help prevent this, play with your puppy before bedtime, don't let them nap during the last three hours before bed, and be sure they use the washroom. To house train your puppy, the more often that you let them outside, the better. When they do go to the bathroom outside, praise them for it. Positive reinforcement is a great way to train your puppy and build a relationship with them. Many puppies are food motivated as well, so try to keep a few treats in your pocket to encourage their good behavior when you see it. Puppies put everything in their mouth and love to chew. Keep all electrical cords and anything you cherish out of your puppy's reach and never leave them unsupervised. Purchase a variety of edible chews and chew toys with different noises and textures. Crate training your puppy is a great way to ensure they don't get into trouble while you're sleeping or away from the house. Teach them that the crate is a safe place even when you're at home. It's a great place to introduce them to new toys and treats. Remember, the first week or two is always the hardest. After those initial weeks are over, your puppy will have learned so much. Earning your puppy's love and watching them learn is very rewarding.